Here is a look at how the sound wave was created. A synesthesia NRT is created and peaceful piano music is applied. The audio element is basically the bars the sound wave is made up of. The bars move to the left, and then are destroyed after 10 seconds. This is where the elements are put together to create a sound wave. Firstly, the sound wave in this blueprint has its audio component set to play the peaceful piano sound. The duration of the song is promoted to a variable. Playback change is bound to the change in audio playback percentage. There is a check to see if the song has finished, and if it has then the game ends. If the game hasn't ended, the play time is set by multiplying the playback percentage by the duration of the song. The waves are then created by taking in the earlier created asset and the playtime and normalizing the output. The bars are then created every 0.05 seconds by applying a for each loop to the normalized values and applying the scale to the Z axis of the produced audio elements. I multiply the value by 10 to make the variance stand out more. This is a look at the enemy blueprint. The enemy will move along the y-axis only after spawning. And it will kill the player if they collide. There are two enemy spawners. The first of which will spawn in the enemy between every 3 and 10 seconds. The second will spawn in an enemy between every 5 and 11 seconds. This shows the placement of the two spawners in game. This blueprint kills the enemy if the enemy overlaps with the collision and gives the player 100 points. Here is a look at the collision in game. This is a look at the code for the character. Notice that I have created setters and getters for the appropriate variables. And have used the correct access specifiers where necessary. On begin play the main widget class is created. The function for move is bound to the up and down keys on the keyboard. The code here allows the player to only move along the z-axis. I realized in order to move up and down, you must change the default land movement mode to flying. Handle death and handle win are very similar and will benefit from some refactoring, however this project was completed in a day. On the dying function, the main widget is hidden and the end widget class is shown. All movement is stopped. As you can see handle win is similar but creates a different widget. If I were to refactor I would collapse the code at the bottom of the function to another function. I would also put both functions together and take in the second widget class as a parameter. Here I move the camera to only look at one side of the character. Here is a look at the simple widgets used for the game. The main thing here is updating the character points. This is bound to the text in the widget blueprint as you can see.
The win widget shows the final points and has a restart game button. Again the code needs refactoring as there is shared functionality with other classes. Thanks for listening.